course. I know what people want. I, I've spent a career giving people what they want. I like in the same. She goes, got Kara Ellen is winning Kara's vote. Well, based on what you just said about me, how the hell can you fucking work with Ellen? Yeah, it seems that it's all right not to have a musical background. Randy's musical background—he was a broken down, a, a, a shitty bass player. And Journey he wasn't even the main guy. He was—he was—he went on the road with him. You know, the hell can I tell you? But, but, but you got to admit it is it is inspiring a lot of ink oh my god it's crazy they just had a poll here when i saw that ellen was now speaking about it i was like oh this is getting ridiculous and, and ellen ellen should have said you know what i'm not going to sit there and uh prevent a guy from getting work that's the answer if if, if american idol thought no i was comment. good that's even better and, you know, I was fine with Ellen staying. I wasn't trying to get her fired. You, that's her job, dream job. Good. Go, go and be a fucking judge next to me. You don't own the show. Yeah, I mean, th th but that's the point. She's acting like now. You see her on the show, she's acting like she fucking runs the whole goddamn thing. You barely now can find Simon. Now she's telling you everybody who can be there and who can't. Yeah. It's like, God damn it. Didn't you just start? I don't even see Randy on the show anymore. He barely has a role. Simon barely has a role. It's all Ellen. And Ellen sucks dick. But did I stop her from work? Did I say to the, did I say to the American Idol people, hey, if I come there, I don't want Ellen? I didn't say that to you them. You didn't say anybody had to leave. You said somebody might want to leave. But you'd work with whoever was there. There's a woman at 19 Entertainment. I'm not going to give her name. But uh, ask her if I ever bad-mouthed Ellen to her. Ask her. All right. And... and she has three names. That's all I'm going to say. Ask her. And one of them is Murdoch. No. No. <laughs> no she, 19 has nothing to nothing do with Nothing to do that. with Murdoch, I know. Very talented woman. I never said a bad word about Ellen. But you understand it was Rupert Murdoch's daughter that started that whole thing. She said, you got to get this mm -hmm. show and put it on. You know. Ask the guy who owns 19 Entertainment. When I saw him the other day. And don't ask me why I was there with him. <laughs> but uh, ask him if I bad mouth Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> you know. Ask what, why I was in a meeting the other day and someone said to me, you know, Ellen's gay. I said, <laughs> I didn't know that, but... Uh, it's all right with uh, does, I, you. know what? Someone said to me, Ellen's gay. I'm not kidding you. And I said, you know what? I would work with her anyway. <laughs> what did you think of that? That's big of you. You're goddamn right Very it is. Very big of you. I got nothing against gay people. <laughs> you were even proud of Ellen getting married. That's right. I was. All for it. Do I sit there and bust her balls? No. Does she suck? Yes. You gave her a hard time about the dogs, but that was right. Yeah. You know what? Sorry. Uh, how many times are you going to allow Ellen DeGeneres to adopt a dog and then give it away? Sorry I pointed that out. And you know what? If I do do that show... And she somehow ends up staying there. I'm going to bring fucking puppies on there every week <laughs> so she could sit there and be a big phony baloney like she is. Uh, there was a poll done. Where did I just see this poll? People don't even like what Ellen's doing on uh, American Idol. She She's not such a popular mind. judge. And by the way, when Simon leaves, that whole thing's going to go in the fucking tank because you name the person that's going to be able to save it. Aside well, that was my point for Kara. She ought to know that you got to have somebody in that chair yeah, who's yeah. strong. Guess what, Kara? You're dead Not in the just water. Some record executive. Yeah, you're gonna go back to sitting at home picking your hole. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Jeff Jarvis, by the way. Hello, Jeff. Hey, Howard. Hey, now. So this is bringing out all your enemies from woodwork everywhere. Oh yeah. Your old pals at the so-called Parents Television Council released a statement <laughs> demanding that Fox repudiate these rumors about you. Jeez. <laughs> They've just been lying in wait. What's the, uh, you have the press release there? Yeah, you want, you want me to read it a little bit? Yeah, they, you know, the Parents Television Council hasn't gotten any ink That's since right. I we left Terrestrial Radio. I've heard their names mentioned. You're gravy train. Yeah, ever it's since I left. Raise money again. We've got to beat down Howard Stern again. We killed him before. Let's do it again, right? Yeah. So here it is. Given American Idol's extreme popularity with family audiences, I hope that Fox will put the rumors to rest and announce that it is, has no intention of adding to the show one of the most profane, sexually explicit, and anti-family performers in the history of the broadcast medium, either as a guest or as a judge, PTC President Tim Winter said in a statement. <laughs> Unless Stern intends to undergo some sort of moth to butterfly metamorphosis, though in this case the change would be more like rattlesnake to Labrador retriever, 
Adding him to American Idol would spell immediate death for one of the best franchises in American family entertainment. <laughs> wow. Fox should move immediately to repudiate these rumors and instead commit publicly to keeping American Idol safe. You would think American Idol was like an important thing. Right. You know? <laughs> I know. I mean, it's like they're talking about the very oh sanctity. Oh, my God. You're going to uh, taint American Idol. Yeah, and first of all. How are you anti-family? I don't know. What, what happens to families when you're around? You haven't said one bad word on broadcast TV, and just because you're you, they want you to, to be banned from broadcast. Well, the like parents, American. the parents' television council, which is a phony baloney organization, it's an effort to uh, make a few people rich. Uh, they they would send around letters asking for donations for what we don't know uh, to get me off of the radio. But how much does it cost to get you off the radio? A lot of money. Oh, a lot. <laughs> you got to you got to get a lot. Without of an money. enemy, they're stuck. Broadcast is now. Thanks to them, broadcast is now dog shit dull. Right. Yes. There's nothing to fight on broadcast because nobody listens to it because there's nothing going on. They got their way. Jeff, you're one of the top television and you know critics in the world. Uh, what do you think of me coming on American Idol? <sighs> it's so tempting. Right. It's so tempting. It's the only thing that would keep the show alive. Right. And by, by the way, P.S. I don't. I'm not even interested in it. But that's not. That is not even the issue. The right. issue is why can't this be a, a lively debate without people going? Mm. Ugh. No, I won't work with him. Where's Ellen's sense of humor? Oh, she's such a foul piece of garbage. I told you about Ellen. People who work with her know. I'm talking miserable, about huh? are miserable. She is a tyrant ogre. This whole nice girl image is a lot of horseshit fakery. Uh, she's miserable. And she's a miserable woman. When can we just go ahead and say she's not funny? Uh, when is that going to happen? Yeah, I mean, did when any... is it uh, the statute of limitations is up? We can finally admit she's not funny. What a scream she is. How soon are they going to regret having her on there without Simon and having her stuck there like ballast? Yeah, and she's the you know the focal point. She's going to carry the show on her shoulders. She's gonna Here's what I hope. Show. I hope I don't go to American Idol. I hope Simon leaves and Ellen. The show now is basically pinned on Ellen, Ellen and you watch the, the fucking show. whole thing tank. I can't wait. How does she relate to teeny boppers who are trying to figure out what they want to listen to musically? Yeah. Uh, She's got no credibility. Kara says, that's okay, I love working with her. And then they ask about but me. But you she goes, have to have all kinds yeah. of credentials. You have no credentials. I mean, what's Kara's credentials? What credentials do you need? Exactly. You need ears. You need ears. You need to have sort of have some credibility. Maybe like in terms music. Of, yeah, <laughs> well, what maybe. you need is what you have, which is honesty, which Ellen doesn't have. Oh, she's so dishonest. Uh, she's dishonest in every aspect of her life, including adopting puppies. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. What's your website again? Uh, buzzmachine.com. Book is what would Google do? Uh, Gary, uh, uh, what do you call that? Ear, uh, earmark that, uh, bookmark that uh, website. I, I keep forgetting to get on there. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks. My bookmark serve are, are lacking. Yes, Jeff yeah. should be there. Gary, immediately bookmark. 